Good morning. It's Denise. Welcome to my home. Get myself situated here. Oh, I don't know why everything always looks crooked, but it does. Hold on. I'm going to aim down here pretty quick. I have done, um, I have so much junk around me. You know, I clean and organize my craft room and I just don't even like being in there. I, I like it, but I want the door open. I want to be able to see what's going on and I can't because of the kitty cats. So I drag everything out here and then I'll drag it back. So I showed you, welcome, welcome to my home. I'm so glad you're here. Why don't you grab a cup of coffee? And Oh, this sweater just doesn't cut it. Um, grab a cup of coffee and come and sit with me. Help me get this off. Things get stuck. Are you getting your coffee? I'm not saying anything important right now. This is not a haul, by the way, so if that's what you're looking for, we're not doing that right now. Anyhow, um, if you're new to my channel, to our channel, it is our channel. I don't like to say it's mine because it's not. I, I kind of engineer things and hopefully it's at, you know, I, I really... Okay, I think I need to just back up a minute. Welcome. I've been up for a minute and I've been doing stuff and I wanted to share some of these things with you. You've been so supportive with the jewelry that I'm making and I started making something else today this is the necklace. And I'm kind of thinking in terms of this, what I'm wearing. When I was putting the colors together, they're, they're stone beads and they're, there's some acrylic in here too. But then there are some of these little guys, the sparkly ones. And it kind of puts together a, and then the metal spacers. So it kind of puts together a, a pretty varied necklace that you can wear with lots of different things. I love you guys. I'm so blessed to have you in my home. Thank you for coming. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like the content, I would invite you to subscribe. I would invite you to hit the bell. That's the notification bell. And when the new videos come up, they'll you'll know about it right away. And comments. I love your comments so much. I do everything I can to answer every comment that I can. You know, if I miss one, I pick it up in the next day or so. I. I don't think that I've missed any completely. I could be wrong, but I try. If you comment, I will take the time to answer. Um, we do lots of things here. Obviously we're, we do Timu hauls and I'm, this is a new phase in my life with jewelry and I stencil and Oh goodness, there's so many different things I've got my fingers into. Um, painting, floral arrangements, wreaths, that sort of stuff. So I've got so much stuff going on that I don't wind up finishing. Well, I do finish, but like, I want to have a whole bunch of them so that 
I want to sell this stuff. I really do. I want, this has been kind of a, a dream for me to do resale. And I didn't know that it would be something that they'd be things that I'd made. Uh, I do a lot of thrifting. And over the years, I've sold things to feed my kids. Uh, and God's just given me an eye. Uh, and it's, it's really cool. Um, I get to enjoy them for a while and then I sell them if I need to, you know, when I needed to for my kids. And it's been a real blessing over the years. I haven't had the opportunity to do like beading and stuff because the money wasn't there. I'm not saying that there's a lot of money here. There isn't. Timu sells crafting stuff for so little. And it gives me an opportunity to dabble in the things that I really want to dabble in. So, all of that being said, what I have here is the necklace. I haven't put the clasps on it yet. Uh, I will, but that's not so necessary. I wanted to kind of decide what I'm going to do for a bracelet by and think of a pattern and you know I've got all of this out and stuff and I don't use it when I'm doing it I just have everything everywhere but I thought you know if I'm going to put this on film I need to make it look somewhat organized huh So, here we go. These are the beads that I've used. Um, these are a stone bead. And I think they're jade. Some kind of a jade. I'm not sure. And I'll cut this open. It comes on a string. It's not strung, like, going to stay that way. I had a, a gal that wrote yesterday, and she said, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I, what are you doing? I couldn't see. And I thought, oh, man. I try really hard to show you. And I need to be better about it. Can you see? Can you see the beads? Uh, okay. Well, I thought I threw this in the trash. It just wrapped around my arm. I find that with necklaces... I'm doing a lot with uh, like fishing stuff. It's a little heavier than the light fishing line. I want to see if I can't get lighter because it does form it. But the weight of the beads will take care of that. Now this pattern just kind of came about. I don't know that this is what I'll do for the uh, bracelet, but we'll see. Um, I don't have a whole lot of these little you know what, maybe what I should do is do the earrings first and then work with what I have left. Because definitely, you know, I want to have earrings with it. Here they are. These are jewelry pins. I think that's what they call them. Now these have a place on the bottom to hang something off. And I have a couple of things that... 
I found that I like that I'm going to hang on the very bottom of the earrings and then we'll go up. So first of all, I probably need to look at one of these doodads. I used a lot of these with the um, with the necklace, but I don't have a lot of them left. And I do have different spacers, but I kind of need to use the same ones if I can. Now these are long and they can be cut and bent and all of that stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is put the, uh, where are they? I thought I had everything together and of course I don't. Here they are. I thought I had those out. Well, no, that's not them either. I'm looking for jump rings. And I have a whole ton of them. I just didn't leave them out. in a smaller container. Bear with me here, I'm sorry. Okay, here they are. These are clasps and earring wires. Okay, so... We'll go with, these are all different sizes, from tiny all the way up to big. And I think this is kind of a medium size. It kind of depends on what you're hanging, I think. This is the connector between what it is that you want to hang and the item that you want to hang it off of. I get to play with a lot of tools doing this and I enjoy it. And it's been really good for my hands. If you've been around for a minute, you know that I've had spinal cord injuries and I was quadriplegic not terribly long ago. It's been 10 years now, 11 years in June that I had it fixed. But I had no purposeful movement in my hands and I couldn't walk. I had to learn all that stuff over again. So I think the more that, I mean, I've done, I do all the bigger stuff. I do my dishes and um, I do the normal stuff that people do. 
but the little stuff I haven't been able to do. So this is giving me an opportunity to do them, to train my hands to function again. They say that after you've had the nerve damage and stuff that you improve for about two years and then you don't improve anymore, but that's just not true. The one thing that I do notice is I have no muscle memory. And like when I get on my bike and I have a stationary bike, I would never ride one out. Well, at this point, I wouldn't ride one outside because if I fell, it would be rather disastrous. Probably be funny, but it would be rather disastrous. Um, so I have a stationary bike. And every time I ride that bike, I have burn like it's the first time I've done anything. Oh, shoot. Look what I did. So, I don't do that so well. I need to start working out again. I've never been really athletic. Although I'm pretty muscular, that's my nature to be muscular. Um, I need to fix this so that it's not going to fall apart again. So I have the, the structure to be Where's that little? I have the muscles there. What did I do with that? I had all my little pliers here. Oh, Denise. Oh, here it is. Um. And it's, as a matter of fact, I think my insurance even has silver sneakers. So I could go to a gym. But the truth be told, I probably wouldn't go. I don't go out too much. Well, I just knocked it all off again. I do a lot of this, you know, where I, I get it. And then I have to do it again. The reason I cut this is to make the piece more stable. I'm going to put a loop on it so the beads won't come off anymore. And I can hang what I want to hang on it and then hang it on another piece to the earring. So I have this little piece right here. These are for making loops. They're really cool. And you hold the, the end of it and then twist it around. and it makes the loop. And the way the pliers are made, it, uh, 
Makes it pretty round. I'm impressed. Kind of bend it back a little bit. And and stick your little plier in there and bend it back around. The idea is to get it to close. And I am new at this, so I'm learning. Okay, so this is now a closed circle. And I'm ready to hang this little droplet at the bottom. I opened up this ring. I know it's hard to see. I'm sorry. I really enjoy doing this. I know that sounds like a question. It's a statement, and I do enjoy doing it. I enjoy learning new things and seeing what what uh, comes of what I do, you know? Ah! Uh, besides dropping everything. Oh my goodness, where's my little thing? Well, it's down here somewhere. Okay, I was able to find it. It was on the floor, of course. If I could hold over things better, I would do better. That's kind of why I don't do a lot of videos with jewelry making at this point, because I spend a lot of time on the floor picking things up. I'm not a quitter. And... I just keep going. And what seems like it ought to be easy isn't necessarily as easy for me, but it doesn't mean I can't do it. I need to stop using that word, but that's a stop sign. And is a connective word and that's what my life is so the hole is right here there we go I'm going to close this a little bit before I try to put this on here because I think that's why I lost it before. Too many moving pieces. Not quite closed. It's pretty amazing how a little piece can slip out if there's even this 
micromillimeter of space. Okay. So this is the bottom part of my earring. Oh, here's the pen that I've cut. I want to use that instead of getting a new one. Maybe. I saw on Timu they have these little magnets. They look like a pen, but it's a magnet. I think those could be really handy for me. So now I will make another loop. I'm not through with this. Well, it wants to be. I don't even know for sure what I'm doing here, so bear with me. What kind of plans do you have for the day? Boy, it's been blustery and raining and raining and lightning and thunder. And it's not even that, I mean, it hasn't been, you know, a lot of times thunder showers happen when it's really warm and then there's a cold front. I'm sure that that's what it was looking like, but it didn't feel like it. There, it was only 50 degrees outside, but boy, when it plowed through, it was really loud. I don't know if there were any um, tornadoes or anything that spawned from it. I haven't looked at the news yet this morning. And I don't watch the news. <clears throat> I'll check on Facebook. Not that Facebook is always truthful either. It's just I don't The news used to be the news, and now it's whatever sells. I need to be quiet. I want to know what, what the events are, but none of the peripheral stuff. I need to hold this closer to me. Okay. Now, I may be sorry for doing it this way. I might have needed to put the dark ones to the bottom and the lighter ones to the top. There are different variations of colors on these dark beads. What do you think? Gotta have some kind of interest in here. Okay. That's kind of this is kind of the pattern that I've used 
in the necklace too. Oh, too short. So I can use one. What do you think? Maybe the shiny should go down towards the bottom. Okay, I'll put the I'll make another loop on here. I think that's the thing that I'm learning the most about is making sure that all of my loops are closed. That's why the earring fell apart yesterday. There was just a, a fraction. Not anymore though. I fixed it. Okay, I've got to close the loop. I'm trying. There we go. Should it be longer? Oh, my nose is drippy. And that's my trash can. Those are bags. Oh goodness, I thought I had a, a tissue. That was one. So I can either add a little bit more and make it longer or we can call it a day with this there's the earring this one other thing I would have done had I think I'm going to open this up and put one of these little spacer doodads on here. It'll finish it better. put it should I put it I'm not sure I started out with one I think what I'm gonna do is try to straighten this out a little bit more and then put it between the beads
Oh, it doesn't want to go through now. I broke it. Brute force, I opened the, the ring on the bottom one, so I've got to fix that again. I should have left well enough alone, I guess. But I didn't think it looked pretty. That isn't the way I want it. I can fix it. I can, I can. So, this is one of those little spacer beads that I put at the bottom. And they're in the necklace too. Maybe I should put it on the very top. I didn't have any of those spacers by the sparkling ones. I know you're probably saying, what is she talking about? Okay, I'm going to close this off again with a loop and then I'll reattach the rest of the earring. The other one won't take any time at all because I know what I'm doing. It well, <laughs> I kind of know the pattern of what I'm going for. I almost said I know what I'm doing. Did you hear that? That's a pretty bold statement for someone that's just learning. If you hear crunching, it's my puppy dog eating. Lacey, she will sit there and eat both bowls of food. Hunter's not starving to death, but I have to make sure that he gets what he needs. I think that Lacey, when she was younger, probably didn't get as much food as she needed. Um, I'm judging the nature of a dog based on human terms, and I know that she's a dog. I know they talked about that my kitty My mama kitty is quite big, and they call what she has stray cat syndrome. And she was a stray. It, um, it's kind of like a They don't know something inside of them triggers them to eat all the time because they don't know when their next meal is going to be. Although she hasn't been hungry since she's been here, it's still a mental thing. And I get that. I fought weight all my life. It's funny to think about emotional things. With, ah, see, it's just not closed all the way. Oh, I see where it is, and I thought it was.
this open right there. I want to make sure that when I do this, I do it well if it winds up in someone else's home, I would be kind of mortified if something happened to where it fell apart. So I've got to do it right. This one is open too. So what I need to do is go back with it a little bit and then uh, crimp it down to itself. I'm learning. There. Okay, I think I said there before, but I think there is really there now. I think. So I think it looks better. Now it has the beginning, you know, the beginning is the, um, there's a spacer there and at the top there's a they're bead covers they're not spacers so much it kind of gives it a more finished look and these are all the beads that are in the necklace and then the little hangy down is like a leaf so i'll start on the next one Are you bored? I don't want to bore you. I hope you're not. Um, okay, so I have... A spacer and two... Red beads. And let's see. Gotta make sure that you give yourself enough wire to make your loop. Oh my goodness, I just flew all over the place. Okay, this is the wire that was left, so. Here are the beads. What happened to the wire that I cut off? I'm gonna have to do it again. I'm not gonna spend hours looking for that thing. My foot will find it, I'm sure. So here we go again.
Here we go. Okay. So I will hold this in now. And it flew, but I have the beads. I'm not too worried about that. My poor vacuum picks up all kinds of stuff. Well, this is just too long. I'd have to trim it off. I remember that woman saying, oh, the next one should be really easy because I know what I'm doing. Ha, ha, ha. I think she's nuts. What do you think? Oh, cut, please. I have another wire cutter that's supposed to be super duper in a haul that I haven't done yet. I've seen it, but it's sitting there waiting for me to haul the order. Okay. So I think I've got it this time. I'm making my loop. And I'll line this up to where it's straight. And then take my other pliers and <clears throat> crimp it a little bit. The one pliers that I had just now, those are more of a forming. They're supposed to form the loop. They're not really for crimping. Well, I'll be. It's done. Yay. Okay. Now I will get another ring and find my other, other little piece. I had them both together. Oh, here it is. They're not exactly alike, but they're really similar. And I don't think they have to be exact. My nails are just wretched. Not sure where the seam is on this. There it is. Oh, it's up here. You know, one thing about watching me do this is most of you could do this with so much 
less effort and have fun with it too. I enjoy this, even though it takes me a little while to do it. I do enjoy it. I enjoy seeing things come together and Um, seeing that I can accomplish it. Okay. I think this is in there. It's on. I just have to close it without losing it. I have to learn how to hold it just so and what angles work for me. So far, my eyes are doing okay. I have to really concentrate. And that's okay. I don't mind doing that. I can't even find the seam now. There it is. I want to make sure that it's closed all the way. Because even if there's just a tiny, tiny. They kind of wiggle free. Thank you so much for being so patient with me. There. So here's the bottom part of this earring. And then I need to put the loop on here. for the other two beads and the spacer. This is kind of where it's hard for me with my eyes because I don't have a lot of depth perception. So, where did I put, did I put that on the, I put this one on the on first. And I have no feeling in my fingers. At this point, 
I believe that things can change. I really do. I see things change in my life all the time. I mean, who would have thought? Oh dear, this isn't long enough. Okay. Well, I get that. So I'll just have to use another one. I don't have to make a loop at the bottom of this one. Or maybe I do. I don't know if I'll be able to attach it. I will. Um, the spacer goes at the top. And these two go together. I close this one really well. I shouldn't have closed it all the way, huh? go. I'll reclose this one. And the other one I don't have to worry about because that's, it came closed. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I don't have time constraints. I guess I do, but not really. There's nobody waiting on this getting done. Okay, so I need to put a loop at the top of this one. I want to make sure that I have enough wire to do it. But I don't want too much. Because that's not what I want to see. I want to see pretty earrings. Okay. that off here. It's almost cut.
spacer back on. I don't look very professional, I know, because I'm not. Okay, I'll make this loop. Still too long. Well, let me see what I can do here. My poor dogs. I think that they would be dogs that could be trained to go on the potty. I don't know how to do it, but they sure don't like being outside in the rain. I don't blame them. Peyton would not take an umbrella with her today. The bus stop is really close. I'm afraid she was probably drenched by the time she got to school. I don't remember. Being really concerned about an umbrella when I was young. But it's not about me, it's about her. And I get that. She really, really wants to be accepted. You guys don't. There's nobody out there, I'm sure. Oh my goodness. I'm trying. I'm sorry, you guys. It's taken a long time. Got to move this over a little bit so that when I crimp it, it'll go to itself, not to the bead. And that's kind of what it's doing right now is it's crimping over to the bead rather than to the wire. It's got to be crimped to itself. That's what closes the hole. I think I've got it. Yay.
Okay. Now, what do you think? Do you think these are long enough? If, if they're long enough, we can just put a wire on them and be done and then start working on the bracelet. The bracelet won't take long. Oh, this will be tricky. I haven't used the tiny little. I don't want them real big. Maybe this size will be better. I think I'll be able to handle that. I don't think I'm going to be able to handle these teeny, teeny, tiny ones. But you never know. Maybe next time I can. Now the reason I have these rings is to attach the ear wire to um, the earring. And they are very little. Up, oh, I just launched it. Now finding it, the vacuum will find it. Try again. It's a good thing I have a bunch of them, huh? Oh, where's the seam? Goodness. Okay, it's open now. The ear wire on here. Maybe I ought to put the earring on first. Where's the opening? Okay. And the ear wire. Work. Oh, look, it worked. Is it closed all the way? No, it's not. I've got to be careful here. I don't want it to fall apart while I'm trying to close it.
I like this, you know. There's so much to it. It isn't just creating a design or to repeat a pattern or to bead. It's the mechanics of putting it together and doing what I didn't know I could do. Looky here. I have an earring. I'll get the other one. I'll have to get another ring. I'm pretty impressed, you guys. I hope that things go a little bit faster as I learn. I don't know if they will or not, but we shall see, huh? I like this too because it's not repetitious. There's some things that I do the same on each thing because that's what it takes but the bead patterns and the colors and all of that are really different and I like very much the idea of blending stuff like wood and glass and metal I can't really tell where the seam is on this. I think it's there. Or not. Oh, there it is. I think. Come on now, you gotta have an opening somewhere. I think that's open. So, put the earring on first. I put the earring. Where'd it go? Here it is. Oh, shoot. Put it back on. And this one. Stay on there.
I gotta hold my mouth just right. Oh, come on, Denise. You can do this. And I think, you know, well, where did the... The earring is gone. It is. The little lovely doggies. I think they want to bark. Well, okay. Kind of starting over here. I'm going to be right back, okay? Ta-da! We have two earrings. And we have a necklace with no clasp yet. How are you doing? Are you bored? You ready to move on? It's okay if you are, I'm still gonna play here and I, uh, next thing I'm gonna do is make a bracelet. <sighs> Let's see here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use a lobster claw clasp and just the normal stuff on the, the necklace on this one. It's a longer necklace. And I think that quite possibly, I didn't check, but I think it'll go over my, over a head. The only thing that I'm going to be doing with these things, I'm not wearing them per se. If I try them on, it's to see what they look like. And to see that they're, you know, in decent shape to be able to put on someone else's body. This will be the third ensemble that I've made. And I think that's pretty cool. They take me a long time to make though. And there again, this time it was forward. Maybe it'll get a little easier. That part doesn't matter so much though. I just want to make sure that I do a good job. What do you think necklace and earrings and 
a bracelet. What do you think I should charge for it? I have no idea. None. <clears throat> Even each set is going to be different because the materials are all different. Uh, I keep falling off this chair. I'm using a needle threader. I'm very blessed to have them. And Timu sells them like huge packs of them for very little. And I seem to go through them pretty fast. They, they aren't real stable, but they work. They do work. This needle may not want this elastic thread. I don't know. I'm not trying to keep things from you being able to see them. Oh my goodness, come on. Hunter, cut it out now. I don't have the extra hands to turn the camera off. While you do your little thing. I don't think he's listening, but I can pretend that he is. This doesn't want to go through here. The eye is too fine. I've used these needles before with this stuff. Well, I have other needles, so I think we'll just get one of those. Let's see, where did I put them? Hunt and find, hunt and find. my loves I've been with you for an hour now doing this and I'm going to let you go we accomplished making earrings and you got to see how they're made do you like them let's see I'm gonna put them on and I'll move the camera up Hold on just a second.
What do you think? I think they're a good length. And then this. I think you can get that over your head. You hold it together a little bit. So it'd be this. You like it? I kind of do. I'd like to be able to make to where there's layered. I don't have enough beads. Yeah, I don't have enough beads to do that right now with with this particular pattern. But maybe I can figure something out. I don't have to use just these elements. I can put some wood in there too. Okay, my loves, I shall talk to you soon. Have a blessed, blessed day. Thank you so much for anybody that has been here all this time. I know it's just kind of been Na, 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 na. I'm trying to move things along a little faster. But I love you. And you have a blessed, wonderful rest of your day. And until next time.